My name is Edgar Hertwig and I'm a, I'm a professor at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. I've worked with the energy supply chapter of the forthcoming IPCC report. Um, energy supply is of course a very important issue uh, because about 40% uh, of the greenhouse gas emissions are uh, uh, coming from the energy supply sector. So our sector includes uh, power generation, the production of fossil fuels, the transport of fossil fuels, refineries and the generation of heat. Uh, of those different activities, actually uh, a, f a total quarter of all greenhouse gas emissions is associated with power generation. So looking at power generation has been one of the most important aspects. And here there are some important findings. Actually we have different alternatives to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from power generation. Uh, greenhouse gas emissions are associated with the combustion of fossil fuels. Uh, so we're talking about coal, uh, oil and gas. Uh, and reducing the combustion of fossil fuels also brings with it a number of other benefits that we can find. So coal-fired power plants uh, produce a lot of particulate matter, uh, fine particles that can go into your lungs uh, and cause uh, health damage there, uh, for example heart attacks and they aggra aggravate asthma and things like that. So um, you might know about the fact that uh, China has been suf suffering from some uh, periods of severe air pollution and in Beijing and other large cities um, air pollution levels have been about 10 times as high as the World, Her Hel World Health Organization sees as, um, as acceptable. And so reducing air pollution is an important objective. Well, uh, by replacing coal-fired power with other power sources, uh, you can also reduce those air pollutants. Uh, some people might think that uh, other power sources also produce air pollution. For example, wind power plants um, produce air pollution, uh, not directly during the operation, uh, but uh, when they're built. You can see that the wind power plant consists of a lot of material. It's a massive steel structure. It has concrete foundations. It has uh, wings that are made from, uh, from fiber and plastics. And of course, those materials um, also require um, processes which cause a lot of air pollution. However, if you distribute that air pollution over the many kilowatt hours that will be produced during the 30 years of lifetime of the wind power plant, you find out that, that the pollution levels are a lot lower than those that come from coal-fired power plants. Similar findings um, were also made for a number of other technologies, for example solar power, um, and we can see uh, that there are alternatives available today to the coal fire power uh, that actually also reduce air pollution.